We're showing you here the Motorola Photon 4G from Sprint, just announced today. So obviously it's a 4G device. I'll just show you the hardware real quick. Pretty standard. Uh, you've got a three and a half millimeter audio jack. You've got a power button. On the side here you have a HDMI and you have a micro USB port. So I actually can do HDMI out video at 1080p to uh, an external TV, HD TV. And on the other side you've got a rocker button, so both up and down as well as a dedicated camera button. And one of the first things you'll notice is that it's a huge display, so a 4.3 inch QHD display. We've got a VGA front facing camera here for video chats. And then on the back you actually have an 8 megapixel camera with dual flash, um, so a big camera. Uh, inside you've got a big processor, so you've got a 1 gigahertz Tegra 2 dual core processor. Um, you've got 16 gigabytes of memory. Um, you've got a gigabyte of RAM. You've got um, uh, 1080p out capabilities as well as a kickstand as well too. So when I pull the kickstand, you actually see that it'll, uh, it'll put the device into landscape mode automatically. Also the kickstand does. Yeah, so it actually invokes that. So just a quick tour of the device itself. So it runs Android 2.3. Uh, some of the cool things, Moto does a really good job with blur with widgets. So I've got the, the messaging widget here. Uh, it's pretty cool from a messaging perspective. I can kind of flick through all my messages and I'm getting feeds from Exchange. I'm getting feeds from Twitter. I'm getting feeds from Facebook. So it unifies all my messaging in one mailbox or I can look at things individually as well too. The uh, social networking widget is pretty cool as well too. So I'm getting feeds right now from Twitter, from Facebook, from LinkedIn. And I can see by the little icon here where they're coming from. So these are a lot of tweets that are coming from the event today. And those tweets just roll through continuously. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty nice. Yeah, and it brings everything together. I can also look at stuff in a list view. If I like list view a little bit better. Um, and then also I could just look at stuff that's related to me. So if I've got someone who is specific to me, all I did there basically was filter it on things that were relevant to me. Okay. So kind of nice where I can choose the experience. That's pretty nice. Um, I can flick over here quick. I've got a couple things. Obviously a 4.3 inch display, you want good pictures. Right now I'm showing the gallery and I'm getting feeds from my social networking spaces as well to anything that I'm getting. Um, Show to your gallery. So yeah. So it says people upload stuff, you yep. upload stuff to Facebook, they tag you in it, it'll show right Absolutely, yep. Okay. yep. Okay. Yeah, but also if I wanted to look at my own existing content, I can do that as well too. So great pictures, uh, 4.3 inch display. QHD is a real high resolution display. That's so nice. images great. look great, yep. And videos look great as well too. So I'll see if I can get to a video here quick. There's a video. So it's showing at 720p on the device. It can capture at 720p, and it can output content at 1080p. So you can do a um, video, uh, video recording at 720p. Yep. And it'll, uh, any, it'll output 1080p. Content. It'll, if the content is 1080p, so like if you've downloaded content or sideloaded content, it'll do that 1080p okay. to uh, a TV that's capable of or a monitor that's capable of it. Okay. Music is pretty cool too, the music widget. This is a Moto's music, music widget. So nothing really spectacular here. I can play the music in my library. I can pull stuff from uh, Windows Media. I can pull stuff from iTunes. Um, but also I can click on this little eye up here and I can get information about the song that's running. It's pretty cool. So I can actually get to information about the artist. I can go out to YouTube videos. I can get lyrics as well too. Oh, okay. So it goes out and groups all that information. Yeah. Right yeah, and it's in a widget, so um, it's pretty cool that it does that. Um, you know, it is a, a really robust business device as well, too, so great consumer device, but a super business device, so it's international capable. It's 4G. Um, there's a lot of uh, security and um, security features, enterprise features that Motorola has built on this. One of the applications that's pretty cool is Quick Office. I'm going to look at all apps. Actually, show you. I can actually look at Word, Excel, PowerPoint, or even PDF files. But the cooler thing is, I can actually edit these as well, too. So I can pull up a document. So 
is an existing document that I have, and I could do some editing in, in this document as well to save it, send it. So I can actually do the editing here, which is kind of a nice feature. Can you I, see what, uh, not to interrupt, can you see what type of virtual keyboard it has? Yeah. So it does uh, the Android keyboard, but also it does, uh, we'll see, the swipe. Okay. So, so get that. Get that version. Oh. And I don't know if it's doing swipe now. No, it's um, it's defaulting to the. Um, I can actually go to the home, and I can show you. You want to see swipe as well too, or I'll show you swipe on my device. Yeah. You familiar with swipe? Yeah. We're familiar. Yeah. Okay. As long as, long as the long people know it's included. Yeah, yeah, no, it is. Uh, I'm a. Um, I hear the music playing. I got to get rid of it. <laughs> Um, I'm a fan of Swipe personally, but uh, the dedicated keyboard as well too. So, so no idea on your new stuff, right? Uh, this summer, so this we're summer? not too far off, yeah. Okay. Right. okay. Um, what's the front, the, what's the resolution of front facing camera? Uh, it's a VGA front VGA? facing, yeah, and eight megapixels on the back. Oh, awesome. Thank you.